Hi everyone, I'm Lara from the employer branding team at Dynatrace. Thanks for joining us for our first ever Get to Know Dynatracer segment, where we'll introduce you to Dynatracers from around the world who have unique career paths, hobbies, passions, and interests outside of the office. Whether it's volunteering in their local community to writing their own book, these employees utilize the work-life balance that Dynatrace offers to fulfill their personal and or professional ambitions. Today, I'll be interviewing Hannah from our investor relations team to learn more about her role, as well as her passion for volunteering. Hannah, I'm excited to hear your story. I have a short list of questions for you. So let's get started. So what is your role at Dynatrace? So at Dynatrace, I'm an investor relations analyst on the two-person investor relations team. And we're responsible for managing our investor relationships as a, pu a public company and also manage communications to the broader investment community. We also recently this year were tasked with developing Dynatrace's ESG strategy. Awesome. And what is a typical day in the life as an investor relations analyst? As the analyst of the team, really, I spend a lot of time focusing on uh, analysis for our financials, as well as competitors, the overall market, um, and from the ESG side of the house, sort of assessing our baseline across the company and, and all of our office locations to, with the, you know, with the goal of developing um, initiatives that we can implement to improve our sustainability in both the environmental side and also the people side. Yeah, so tell us about your team members and the overall team dynamic. Yeah, so like I said, it's a small but mighty two-person team. Uh, it's me and my manager, Noelle Ferris, and we work so well together. Um, she supports me, you know, in whatever project I want to explore. Um, I like that it's a two-person team because I actually get exposure to a lot more things and I get to own a lot more projects. And investor relations is sort of an area that has, you know, many hats at one time. Like you could have your finance perspective on, but you also have a strategic mindset, a marketing mindset. And I like combining all of those things um, for our various projects. And so what's one word to describe the culture at Dynatrace? I would say what I first noticed, even when I was interviewing, is that everyone I talked to was just really authentic. So I'll use that word. It seemed like there was a diverse group of people, but no matter what, people felt comfortable to be themselves. And so anytime that I'm working with people across the organization, it just, it just seems so easy and genuine to work with them and, and to get to know them. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, so tell us why you got involved in volunteering. So I got involved with my Minds Matter mentorship opportunity, and it was really from the onset of COVID-19 where you could see that by school shifting to a virtual setting, it exacerbated the inequality in education for people of color or students of color in the Boston area. And so I just was trying to find something that would make a real impact beyond donating to you know various organizations that are already doing that i wanted to to experience something that i could see improvement um, from my direct efforts and so i was looking up in the boston area just something that was focused on education because that was top of mind for me obviously during the pandemic you know it was very obvious to a lot of people that um schools were struggling right with the shift and then i came across minds matter boston um, and i applied and interviewed and, and um, started a few months after that with my mentee that's awesome um can you tell us a little bit more about what is minds matter boston yeah minds matter boston is basically trying to close the education gap for people of color from low-income backgrounds this one is in the Boston area, but they also have local chapters in many cities. And their goal is really to be sort of that guidance counselor role that many of these students don't have because their schools are under-resourced in that area. So we do things like preparing them for the ACT exam, um, how to figure out which college is a good fit, and then once they're a senior, it's actually going through the college application process, the financial aid application process, and just making sure that they feel supported along the way. 
Mm -hmm. That's great. So what kind of responsibilities do you have as a mentor at Minds Matter? So each mentee gets two mentors or what they call a triad to offer even more support. And during the school year, the three of us meet on a weekly basis and we cover the variety of topics that I've listed. But really, um, we're there as like a sounding board for him to make sure that he's getting all of the resources he needs, his questions answered. Um, and it really allows you to build a strong relationship you know, it's over like a three year time period from when they're a sophomore. And so that personal element really spoke to me um, and it allows you to see them grow into, you know, someone who's ready to, to take on college and then ultimately their career. So how has Dynatrace supported you in volunteering with Minds Matter? Dynatrace gives us one volunteer a day off a year, and I used mine this past year to take my mentee Mike on a college tour of Northeastern. Uh, we're planning on doing a few more this fall, so I'll definitely be using another one for another local school. But I think it's just great that, you know, they give you that time. And honestly, a college tour was, you know, a few hours and they give you a whole day so I can I can do a few uh, with that time. <laughs> Um, so why should someone get involved with Minds Matter? I think people should get involved because one, you make a direct impact. You get to see the student grow, get excited about school, explore career opportunities, really get to know them on a personal level in addition to your co-mentor in the broader community. And that community piece is the second. You know, Minds Matter has hundreds of mentors and mentees combined in the Boston area. And so you really feel like you're part of a community that's of like-minded people that are all working towards the same goals. And the pandemic was, you know, a lonely time for a lot of people. And I think that connection really, you know, drove me and drove a lot of people to want to give back, but also, you know, get connected with, with other groups of people. Hannah, this is so cool. I love that you take time out of your week to do this. Can you tell us how people can get involved with Minds Matter? Yeah, so we're actually actively recruiting mentors right now for this upcoming school year. Uh, there are applications on the Minds Matter Boston website or the local chapter, depending on where you live. And it's just a simple application. You fill it out. You do a brief interview with an existing mentor, and, and then you get started this September with, with a mentee. How can people connect with you to learn more about Minds Matter? If anyone has questions or just wants to connect, feel free to reach out to me on my LinkedIn and I'm happy to, to chat about Minds Matter, Investor Relations, or anything Dynatrace. Great. Well, Hannah, thank you so much for joining us. And we're excited to share with you all more of our talented colleagues and leaders in the next Get to Know Dynatracer segment.